Okumale miaka nebi sibo Uganda iranga mawanga malala aga chakula wano kusema zinga Afrika na walala okusoma okusinga kubeda kwa muawa nga kutandika. Mwusome ye chika chino bulimwana atandikila kumutendi la guegumu nga baso machechimu era muda bugawe ila balunga mizidua oba okusinzi la kubunero bugawe ila afunye na asala uo oba bazade niwa msali yao chawe ila asuma. Do you know that people who are clever but do not know how to write exams. And they are judged at the end of the day that they are foolish. This is a disaster in Africa. Wakusoma echikachino, wekuvira ko abasomye wakunonye milimu, kubanga basoma kuitabibuzo. An average Ugandan sells their land and cattle or any saving the bank for the child to obtain education. Their hope is that when the child completes education, they'll get a big job. They'll then buy for them more cows, build them a bigger house, and put more money in their bank. You know, as I do, that those parents are very disillusioned today because their children come back with photocopies of degrees and there are no jobs, and so they ride motorcycles. And they know too well you don't need a degree to ride a motorcycle. Many governments in Africa spend billions and billions of dollars in the form of bursaries and scholarships in the hope that their citizens will get good education to come and develop their countries. Years turn in, years turn on, they are not superpowers. They are still called developing countries. That gave us the thought, what is the issue? What's the problem? Katino waliwe chuma echiri na teknoji ya gendo kwe ula abagala kumbereyo. Echuma chino chitiwa anthropobiometric machine. Omzade obo mtu yena asubulu kukebiru obo ongo obo mwana. Obaye yenyini nazula amanyi mbo ongo wegatebede nga wano mwana walino kusesira. If you went and discover your innate potentials, then you'd be somebody else. And why do the whites, if they find their child is only good in physical education. Even the tuition teacher is brought only for that. In Africa, you are brought a tuition teacher for your weakness, if you're weak in mathematics. So you struggle all along in your weakness at the expense of your strength. So we changed and we said, learning is no longer about your weakness. Learning is embedded in your strength. And therefore, the first step just like doctors do. Before I give an injection, before I write a prescription, I must do diagnosis and confirm. Although the symptoms are the same, let me confirm this fever is not malaria. Oh, it is pneumo pneumonia. So we're doing diagnosis first. Professor Humphrey Obora, O mkubwa umyo mtuwe, mkubwa nyisa teknoji yono, anyo nyolarua chie chuma, buliomu, achietaga. It is a 3D optical sensing equipment. Your camera that you have there in your phone is a basic 3D optical sensing equipment. How does it take your picture? It sends light and it takes your coordinates and it reconstructs you and it paints to give you an image. Now in this other case, the anthropobiometry takes you the same, takes the coordinate, but instead of doing your image, it draws imaginary Imaginary, it doesn't get into your body. It draws imaginary lines. Then it presents to me an image called a body model. Where signals pass quickly, it paints green. Where it passes ish-ish, it paints yellow. And where there are energy blockages, it paints red. So when I look at it in front of me, and I see the greens are to the left upper side of the brain, for a four, five, six-year-old child, see how easy it is for me to predict their career 20, 30 years in advance. Echo machino chikoza sedua ko, e Kenya, ilawa chikoza seza, chiba koledi, ilanga ligwanga, ilia soka, okuchikoza sa. Because you have asked, I didn't want to go this far. I have a parent, actually this is a story that was carried out by KTN, in Nairobi. There's a young man called Matthew Karungu, who was born with cerebral palsy. So the story that came is that the mother was hiding him in the house. So we followed up. 
and we encourage the parent to bring him for assessment. We found him to have a very active brain, particularly on the left side. For me to tell them, for the sister also was not going to school to take care of him and the help, it was a bit of a fight. But may I inform you today that Matthew Karungu today has a master's degree. I took him for internship at Communication Authority of Kenya, which is a government institution just like the one in Uganda. And he has a master's degree at the head of strategy. What Professor has offered us as a family is an opportunity for Matthew. Professor Obora Wabula Gambanti no Kutukao, Tekuba de Kuisa Mokamuchisero, O Najukira Brunji, a man get a mock matiz of Matizaban to technology or no, a Kibida man of Wongo, Gabe Wonziki de Anthropo Biometric Machine, Okusobola Okurungamia, Evisera Biomana, Mubi Mirimo. When he brought the machine, a camera, people said it's going to burn people. You know our, our Africans. And then the normal statement from an Africa, if they don't know anything, they say, ah, to just scare you, that's money fake. We have not heard about it, it must be fake. You don't know, you're not part of the research and you know it is fake. Really? We do have, the people, and I must tell you this in advance, the people we try to help are themselves hell. And they sit in their comfort zones. You got to be different. Remember, a pioneer is always fought and called names. I am one of those who has gone through that. By the time even Pielo Lumumba was joining me, he knew I withstood the test of time. It's not been it's a long journey, nearly twenty years. At Uganda, he got to come along. I'm a Tonyo. We see Mazinga Africa. Okufuna Echuma. Echirim Technology. Akwela Talanta. Mubongo. No Busozi. Our World Talent Federation. Bawa Deba Professor Bano Echuma. Chikoze Sebwe. Mu Uganda. Ku sentence Sam Sam. To book your appointment. Okay. Uh, it takes about forty minutes for the assessment. There are three stages. Before you reach the machine, it's not just going to have a machine. You don't walk to a hospital and just go to. Uh, a blood testing equipment. There you must see the nurse and the doctor first. And there's a reason for that. So we also have those procedures, oral screening and psycho screening, before we go to the anthropobiometric uh, kit to get your image. And then it takes about three to four days, if it's a normal case, to get your report. Um, because this is a private enterprise, it will have pricing, but pricing will be dependent. Uh, our rule from the Federation, there must be people who must be assessed for free. Uh, these are the poor gifted. A poor gifted, like I say, the TV, like your station has highlighted, a child with a unique ability. And the government doesn't know what to do with them. Of course, they always don't know what to do with them. Uh, we'll bring that child, we'll assess that child for free. It's part of the reason we have donated the machine. Idabagenda kukola, ulusisi na mkampala. Professor Obora, akunze wana Uganda bona, wakukoze sa omu kisa oguze, wakurungamia abana babwe, ngobude, tebunaita. On behalf of all Africans, like I've said, everywhere I've gone, it is time never to take children in any learning process like a pack of potatoes in the hope they'll produce chips. Big mistake. It is time to diagnose and know the strength, I'm not talking career, the strength of your learner beforehand, before thinking they belong to the four walls of a classroom. Dean Afka Farida, Nedokas Kimono.